Hi Aquarius, welcome to your June horoscope reading. This will be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or for whatever placement calls you here to this reading today, there may be some messages here for you. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not everything's going to apply to everyone. Just take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest here. We're going to be doing the regular monthly spread like I normally do, so the overall energy, the obstacle, the insight, and the potential outcome as well. So let's go ahead and jump into your reading and see what's going on in the month of June for you. I also recommend that you check out your other sign videos as well. So if this is your sun sign, check out your moon and rising to get a little more information on the overall energy that could be impacting you or playing out through June. It can also be beneficial to watch the readings again at the end of the month to see how everything played out in the physical realm. Okay, Aquarius, June 2021, what is the overall energy? Four of Wands. What is the obstacle to overcome this month? The Justice card, okay. What is the insight and guidance from Spirit? King of Pentacles. And what is the potential outcome? Hmm. Oh, we were rolling there, <laughs> the devil card. Okay, so Aquarius, I feel like your overall energy is starting out really nicely for the month of June. The Four of Wands is stability, inspiration, some level of achievement as well. It also feels like this is some kind of a gateway for you or a celebration that is like a portal of energy that you're moving through you're bridging something like it's the old way of doing things and the new way of doing things or the spirit realm and the physical realm you're creating some kind of a bridge between these different areas and creating structure and stability in the middle of doing that as well so this is this is actually really really nice beautiful energy here the obstacle you have this month is justice so creating and establishing that balance that leads to that stability could be a little bit of a challenge in the month of june um, really creating stability in the way that you assess you know your moral code <laughs> um, in how you bridge this gap could also be something that comes into question uh, it does feel like grounding will help with this so maybe getting outside will be uh, beneficial in creating more of this balance for yourself and bridging these different worlds and bringing things together so that you can have more stability going forward and that's kind of what this insight and guidance is saying i kind of got ahead of myself there with the king of pentacles so the insight and guidance is saying hey you know if you want to create more balance then there's going to be more opportunity for stability and that means seeking out areas that are already stable and learning and enjoying and absorbing that energy so maybe getting out into nature uh, this could also be about reconnecting with the people around you who support you and who create more stability in your life um, you know your community interacting with people uh, at a like a larger scale like that but I also feel like there could be some kind of an opportunity here this month when it comes to an investment of some kind or some kind of a stable, um, could, could even be a relationship. A stable relationship um, could be a contract that you're entering into with a business partner or something like that. Again, this would be a reason to celebrate. Uh, it, you just kind of want to watch out for anything that may kind of lock you down. So make sure that you read the fine print. Actually, you know what? We're in Mercury retrograde for most of the month of June. And even though it stations direct on the 22nd, it's still gonna be in the shadow phase for the rest of June for the most part. So this is not really the month to be signing contracts. If you're thinking about like signing a deal, um, putting something down on paper, this is not the month to do it. I mean, if you really feel intuitively guided to do that, then that's fine. Follow your intuition. Don't let fear cloud your judgment, but you just want to be extra careful. So read all of the fine print, make sure that you clearly understand everything, get a lawyer to look over it as well. You know, the justice card is the legal system. So get a lawyer to look over it and make sure everything is in, you know, 
in your best interests and that it's not going to really limit you and keep you stuck you know it's kind of like i'm getting that image of of like a pop star signing a contract but then they can't work with anyone else and they have to do certain things and it really limits their ability for freedom and creativity uh, it could also be you know like even even if it's a contract such as like getting married or something like that <laughs> you kind of want to assess going into that like how much are we going to spend on the wedding uh, how much is this if it's like a contract for a photographer or a contract for a house or a contract for um you know a prenuptial agreement or something like that you know there's so many different options here it could be anything but yeah there's definitely a need to double check everything reread it get it checked um, make sure that you understand because the devil card can be sneaky sneaky and this is the potential outcome but i don't think that it's going to be something that's like scary or that that's going to limit you so i do want to get some clarity on this why is the devil card here in the potential outcome for aquarius in the month of june oh my god so this card flipped out and if you guys could have seen that that was hilarious it flipped out and it like went whoa, 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 like and like landed so it was like really cool um but yeah you didn't see any of that so my reenactment will have to suffice so this <laughs> this emperor card in reverse Ooh, oh aquarius ah oh, i don't know this is not looking good i mean the emperor in reverse really speaks to me of subverted power disempowerment you know control in a disproportionate way manipulation even so ah uh, yeah, be really careful with um, any financial deals, any contracts, any legal stuff. Be really, really careful this month with that kind of thing and make sure that you're double checking everything. Trust your gut. If it's something feels off or too good to be true, it probably is. Um, especially if it's with somebody who's offering you like a lot of money, maybe a loan or something like that, or an investment. This could also just be like a relationship with um, uh, a, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. So an earth sign male, but they don't necessarily have to be that zodiac sign. It could just be somebody who's very wealthy, very stable, very protective of their assets and their money. Um, so again, this person's not going to make an investment that will hurt them, but they are kind of out, out for the money here. Uh, so make sure that you yourself are very grounded. That way you'll be a lot more clear on what's going to benefit you and what's not. I want to get a clarifier on the um, King of Pentacles. Can we get more information on the King of Pentacles, please? Ten of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and the Star. Yeah, you might be biting off more than you can chew. You might not be seeing something for what it is. Um, it could take a lot longer than you're expecting or that you're being told for, for some kind of profit to manifest. You might be taking on more of a, like if this is a loan or something, you might be taking on more debt than you can realistically manage or pay back. You want to be careful with this. Um, the star card, there's hope, um, there's healing here, but it might be off in the distance. You know, the dream that you want to create and make a reality might be further away than you think it is. So again, be very careful with opportunities that seem too good to be true, especially when there's legal aspects to them. You want to be very, very careful. Let's see if we can get some more insight and guidance from the Oracle cards. Hmm, yeah, this Devil card and the Emperor are giving me real sketch vibes. So yeah, trust your gut. If something feels off, it is. Okay. What is this situation? Aquarius okay that's a lot of cards let's go through these one by one okay so the first one that came out was the untamed goddess Freya and Amber so 
yeah, there's something wild here, something that you, you might not have control over. Uh, the untamed is also this devil and emperor energy. In the highest expression of this, let me let me give you a different scenario here. This could be that you're res you're freeing yourself from restrictions. You're freeing yourself, like you're you're getting to a new level or a new foundation where you're no longer limited by the things that were keeping you heavy and weighed down in the past. You're starting to see the hope and the light at the end of the tunnel again. And you know, in the highest expression of this devil and emperor card, this could even be like you just living your your best like wild and free life no more restrictions just do what you want like have a good time within reason of course right the devil card always cautions us to have moderation when it comes to our pleasures and the things that we enjoy and the emperor is usually all about control so having him in the reverse is like just do whatever you want <laughs> like, again this can lead to chaos so you want to be careful with that energy but in the highest expression this could be something that will help you to kind of break out of an old rut or a cycle that was limiting to you so take it how it fits but yeah okay let's see that okay so then this could be the case right i don't want to you know drop any kind of fear bombs on anyone and say oh don't trust this person like la 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 go with your gut on this obviously it's good to be forewarned forewarned is forearmed right but in the highest expression of this energy which is always what i choose to look at it feels like some kind of a of a revolution for you because you've got individuality Oh, and then the next card is Sacred Revolution. So you have individuality and Sacred Revolution. So that you're going to be going through like a big readjustment in how you show up in life. You know, maybe coming out of a period of stagnancy where you were really overwhelmed, where there wasn't a lot of progress happening, where everything seemed really far off in the distance. And now all of a sudden it's like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do whatever the hell I want. I'm going to create a revolution in my life. I'm not going to follow the rules. I'm going to live my best life, you know. This could also lead to empowered service. So this could be rejecting the systems or structures that have kept you limited in your work environment or it could be relationships too, but you know, it could be anything. Anything in your life that's been keeping you kind of stuck in the old ways of doing things that wasn't really empowering to you. This empowered service is like, "Hey, you know, there's a better way to do this. There is a way that is empowering for you and the other people involved here. It doesn't have to be a sacrifice type of thing. You don't need to be a martyr. You don't need to give up your individuality to be successful. Yeah, it's like, ooh, I love the analogies coming back again of that pop star, like signing a contract and then getting really like bogged down in the, the legal things. It's like, you know what, maybe that contract isn't for you. Maybe you go the solo route where you self-produce. Um, you know, of course, if you're not a mu musician, take it and apply it as in like a metaphor <laughs> type of way. But it's like you're doing this for yourself. You're finding a way that works for you. You don't necessarily have to play by the rules as they are set out because some of those rules are disempowering. Some of those rules actually don't make sense for you, and that's fine. So go your own path, choose your own way, forge your own you know, way through. It doesn't have to look like everybody else's path. It doesn't have to go by the rules that are set up by society. Like you have to go to college, and you have to get a job, and you have to get married, and then you die. And it's like, no. <laughs> This is it's not what you were born and incarnated into this world to do. You've got so much more to you. And so don't give up fo don't give up faith. Don't give up hope on this dream that you have or this skill that you want to share with the world um, or whatever it is that you want to create because you will be successful at that. There will be achievement. There will be stability that can come from that as well. It's really just about making sure that you don't limit yourself in any way uh, or don't allow others to limit you she shall always prevail aquarius male or female you will always prevail goddess isis and isis crystal so this is you really overcoming any of these obstacles any of these setbacks limitations red tape fine print any of that stuff that's been limiting you you're going to overcome it you're going to come out the other side successful and some some of you might not even play by any of those rules maybe you're just going to choose to to make something yourself and sell it yourself or you're going to you know f 
screw the system. I'm, I'm skilled at whatever it is that I have. I don't need a certificate to prove that. I'm going to go out and do it and get the experience and just put in the man hours to prove that I can do it. Like, yeah, get it, Aquarius. You're such an unconventional zodiac sign to begin with. You know, playing by the rules just doesn't necessarily resonate for you. So do it your own way. Forge your own path. Be an entrepreneur. Be creative. Play by your own rules. Create your own freaking rules. Why not? You are a very unique individual. And that is a reason why you don't fit into these boxes. It's because you were, you were, you've come here to create a new world. You've come here to change the things that don't make sense anymore. And a lot of this, the way that our society operates just really doesn't make sense from a spiritual perspective. So you're here to change it. Be the authentic you. Be an individual. Even if that scares some people or shakes some boots, just do it because it's who you are and it's what's going to be the most empowering for you. You are also going to kind of start a revolution. It's like when you follow your path, when you live your authentic life, it inspires other people to do the same. And again, you're like a way shower. You're a path forger. People will follow in your footsteps. So create a sacred revolution and don't underestimate the power of your actions don't underestimate the power of your authenticity again it, it can create like a ripple effect and so when you stand in your power again your empowered service you inspire others to do the same and you help others to do the same and you will prevail unleash your individuality on the world because aquarius you are so beautiful so unique and you have so much to offer so that is your reading for June, Aquarius. I hope that it resonated and brought you clarity, insight, guidance, or inspiration. Um, if it did, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your fellow Aquarian friends or whoever you think needs to hear this message. Um, if you're interested in any of the services that I provide, I do uh, readings like this. I also am a clairvoyant Reiki master, so we heal the energy body and the seven main chakras. And I do... Um, soul realignment akashic record readings as well where we look into the soul blueprint and we clear karmic patterns from past and present life so all of the information will be down in the description you can email me at services.tukittyandbeyond at gmail.com to book a reading or to order a session or vice versa okay much love guys thanks so much for watching we'll see you next month bye